Hello and welcome to Pixelement. My name is Emily and in this video we will be looking at how to start a project by uploading your aerial imagery data and adding your ground control points, or GCPs, into Pixelement. For those of you who are new to aerial photogrammetry, aerial imagery data is the photos that were captured of the area you are wanting to look at. The aerial system would then be flown either manually or via a planned route while simultaneously capturing images of the area. Depending on what you're looking at, these photos are captured in a what is called nadir or oblique position. Nadir means that the aerial camera is positioned in a top-down position, or zero degree angle, looking straight down at the ground. Higher angles are referred to as oblique positions. For best practices, zero to 10 degrees is best used for taking images of building sites, topographics, open areas, and stockpiles. 15 to 25 degrees is for urban and residential areas, topographics, some vegetation, and quarries. 35 to 50 degrees is used for 3D modeling of buildings, facades, and specialized applications. Ground control points, or GCPs, are points that are laid out before flight in and around the area that is being captured. They play a crucial role in ensuring the accuracy and precision of the photogrammetric process. GCPs are then used in the post-processing workflow to serve as markers to help improve accuracy and tie together the imagery captured from an aerial platform with real-world geographic coordinates. 